How many people watched Highlander? I did. You did. I did. Yeah. I remember actually watching Highlander with my dad. Ooh. I remember he had it on, and I was like, "What is this awesomeness? Yeah. There can be only one." And I'm like, "Oh my god, this is awesome! Right. Very cool." You know? Did you know that the first movie totally bombed? It like didn't do well in the box office, and it became such a like a hit where everyone was like, "Why is this such? Yeah. A, why? Why didn't do this do good? Like, it's amazing." And they're like, you know what? Let's bring him back for a second. So smart. Sean Connery. Yeah. Was it Christopher Lambert? I think was his name. Hold on. I'm awful with names. Dang, I don't remember if that's who his name was. It sounds right. You right? know what I mean? Is it Chris Christopher Lambert? Man, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. Hold on. Highlander IMDB. Let's just quickly Highlander from in 1986 it came. Christopher Lambert. Yes. Nailed it. I totally nailed it. Anyway, this movie came out in 1986. Was awesome. I uh, I haven't seen it in a long time. In fact, I don't even really remember the movie. I don't remember a ton of it. I was young when yeah. I saw it. But yeah, yeah. I I just I do remember it being like what it, like why is everyone not talking about this? Right, right, right. Okay, so I'm excited for a few reasons. Okay, okay. did you like The Witcher? I didn't see it. I'm not even going to say... Okay. On Netflix, The Witcher? Uh, yeah. Did you ever play any of the games? I played some of it, yeah. Okay. Did yeah. you like the games? I did. Yeah. I, I just got Witcher 3. Okay. It's on like Uber sale right now. So nice. it's only... It was 10 bucks. Cool. And it's supposed to be one of the better games out there. And I really liked Cyberpunk. And CD Projekt Red made yeah. Witcher 3. I don't know if they made the rest, but they did make Witcher 3. So I'm I'm going to get into it. I'm, I'm going to have a fun one. But uh, they are... What was I talking about now? I forget. So with the CD Projekt Red. Oh, Witcher. Okay. Yeah. So Witcher mm -hmm. on Netflix was dope. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I never I never played the Witcher games. And the, the, the series was cool. And I liked it a lot. Yeah. The fight scenes was really sweet. And I learned that Henry Cavill was like playing Witcher. He was like playing the game, really digging oh. in to try to like get his character, yeah. like to really learn the character and like be the Witcher. Yeah. And I've heard from people who have played the games, watched the series that say he did a great job. That's like he awesome. really did embody the Witcher. Yeah. Enter Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill circling oh Highlander reboot for Lionsgate. Not only is he circling, what? he has confirmed. Oh my gosh, this, this is from his um, Instagram. This is Henry Cavill. Very exciting news today. I've been a fan of Highlander since I was a lad. From the movies to in all of their 80s. Queen slathered glory to TV show with an actor who looked remarkably like one of my brothers. Not being shy with swords and having a director as talented as Chad Stalinsky at the helm. This is... An opportunity like no other, deep diving into franchise storytelling with all the tools at our disposal is going to make it this an adventure uh, I and hopefully all of you shall never forget. As you can see from the swipe, I've lately been dipping into some of my Scottish heritage and inadvertently getting my baseline research underway. And he's got uh, those bloody kilts. He's got a bunch of different Scottish lore that he's now learning. This dude is digging in like he was digging into The Witcher. Oh. So it's unconfirmed who he's going to play, but what he said there, Chad uh, Stalinsky, I don't know if you know who that is. That is who directed John Wick. No, it's, oh my gosh, dude. This is like, excite. So the new Highlander movie is going to be directed by the guy who directed John Wick with Henry Cavill. <laughs> They don't. It's not confirmed who he's gonna right, play. Right, right. But, but still, the fact that cares? he's in it. Right. Who cares? Right. If he's the bad guy, dope. If he's the main character, dope. I'm he's saying. gonna be one of those two. Right. Come on. I'm fine, even if he's the guy that like scrapes the <laughs> horseshoes. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. He's awesome. What's going on today, master? Yeah. Um. So let's see here. We got. Uh, there's a line. This is from Bounding Into Comics, all right? And there's going to be more that I'm reading here because he's, he's basically just calling, uh, reading what Henry wrote on his Instagram. Here he goes. This is from Stalensky, all right? He gave an update on the film, which has been in development as far back as 2016, back in June 2020. He stated, we're in heavy development mode on Highlander. 
tweaking the scripts, writing, conceptualizing sequences, how we're going to do everything. We probably have a lot more in-person kind of things, but it hasn't slowed down in our development process at all. Uh, previously in 2017, he stated, ratings are second to what we're going to do. Hi Dude. Okay. First, Preach. that right there. Yeah. Ratings, whatever. We're going to do something cool. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Excitement is building. I'm saying. I, like, I, don't, I don't like to expect. Yeah. Okay. All right? When you okay. expect, you get disappointed. Yeah. And that's on you yeah. or me, you know, but hold on. I'm not done. Uh, at least that's what's in my head. It's going to fall on a line for sure. He added, we want to design it uh, what we think is aesthetically cool. And so far, I've met no resistance. They're like, look, whatever you did with John Wick with the gun stuff, we want you to try to do with the sword stuff. We want you to make something cool and something unique and something that's going to make the audience say, wow, I haven't seen that before. I'm so. So, John Wick was awesome. Amazing. Amazing. It, it was awesome. Who liked John Wick? And if you didn't, why not? Yeah. Why? John Wick was awesome. You probably saw a bootleg if you didn't like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. John Wick. <laughs> it's like, no, no, no. That's It's John Wick. You got to see the one with Keanu Reeves in it. Um, anyway, very good. I really liked it. So, I'm really excited to see what they do with this. Because he's basically saying, like, they're not holding us back. We're not doing it for ratings. We're doing it to be something cool, something awesome, something hasn't been seen before. Henry Cavill, he goes above and beyond to be a character. Yeah. He's proven it. I think he was an amazing Superman. Yeah, I was a huge fan. He was Superman. Yeah. He did a great job. Right. He definitely like brought it. Right. All right. And then he was the Witcher. He was very cool. And uh, I'm I'm kind of I'm more excited now to play the game because I've seen the show. Yeah. And I'm like the show is pretty dope. Like I kind of want to I kind of want to play the game now. Right. And then it was on sale, so I actually I think it was yes yesterday I picked up. There you go. Or no, it was two days ago. Two days ago, the day before you got here. Nice. And uh, so I'm very excited about this, and yeah, I'm I'm hyped. So let's see. Uh, just to give you guys a little bit more. Um, where where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So Cavill's role is unclear. But he will be one of the two leads in the film, so we know that. All right, the original film starring Christopher Lambert as Connor McLeod and Scottish war a Scottish warrior born in the 16th century who learns he is an immortal after he dies in battle, only to come back to life. And Sean Connery as Connor's mentor, an Egyptian improbability, uh, improbably named Juan Sanchez Villalobos uh, Ramirez. Although he was born with the name Takne, Juan teaches Connor that he is one of the small handful of humans who are born with what is called the quickening, which allows them to live forever unless they are beheaded. Centuries later, in present day New York, Connor faces off against Kurgan, uh, another immortal who is bent on beheading all immortals, therefore becoming the most powerful being on earth. When it when the film first opened, it was a flop, grossing just 5.9 million domestically. But it was so popular on home video that Lambert and Connery starred in a sequel in 1991. The franchise expanded from there. A reboot has been in various stages in development for over a decade. Directors including Justin Lin, uh, Juan Carlos, Franz Nadillo, and uh, Dio maybe, sorry, uh, and stars including Ryan Reynolds, David Bautista, have all been attached to various, at various points. Cavill, meanwhile, has been busy shooting season two of The Witcher for Netflix, and he recently signed up to play Sherlock Holmes again, opposite of Millie Bobby Brown's uh, titular uh, performance in Enola Holmes 2. His days playing Superman, however, appear to be over, which is kind of sad, I think. Um, with Warner Brothers rebooting the franchise with producer J.J. Abrams and screenwriter uh, Ta-Nehisi Coates, which is a whole nother dramatic thing that uh, they're, I think they're going to change uh, the race of Superman. I don't know if you've heard about this. Uh, I haven't, but yeah, I'm not surprised. That's, uh, that's a whole new thing, you know, inclusivity and uh, hey. all, all that whatnot. Um, Let's do all the first together. Let's get all the first. I like what you said yesterday. You said so. He said on the show yesterday, "Is like, can we just do all of the firsts and get them out of the way? First, like Kamala, first female vice president. It's like, okay, 
let's literally do all of the first let's have a year of let's have everyone be the first of everything so that we can just be done with yeah. that okay right. all the first have been done no one's special by being first anymore let's just now let's return to meritocracy and who's the best at the job henry cavill was an incredible superman i think he's the best for the job i yeah i mean period I, he was awesome he is awesome yeah but i mean i i feel like i'm two minds of whether or not the uh you keep like the like iron man yeah like you keep the same person throughout the whole thing i thought it was great part of me loves that yeah and then part of me is like well it is really cool it's been really cool since our childhood yeah to see batman become half a dozen different people that's true so do you do it really breaks down to do you do 007 interesting casting or do you do well highlander casting? they they used all white guys for for bruce wayne is that is that racist or is that following true to the character? This is this is an honest question. I'm it would not, be following a timeline. I'm it would not be following to... true to a timeline. What, how so? Because there are different Batmans. So like there are different like realms of. Okay, so like the Mile, Miles Morales Spider Man. Correct. Which actually makes sense in yeah. the Spider Verse because right. there is multiple dimensions of different like into. Do you see Into the Spider Verse? Yeah great movie amazing yeah awesome movie like i thought it was really well made and explained like how why it was a different spider-man it was dope yeah like and he made a dope spider-man yeah and um you know so if they do it in that way like i could see it making sense but batman it's not like they're saying like bizarro batman or like there's a bizarro superman but they didn't say bizarro when they did no, superman they just did miles morales right right but, get, but it made sense that the story for sure right in the lore there of are that's what I'm saying. There are lores out there. There's a million, as many as there are for Superman, there are those for Batman, there are, because they're the height of the... Right. Like, the guys on the top have been written about forever, so there's a million different versions. Right, right, right. All right, well, um, fun. I'm looking forward to Highlander. I think it's going to be sweet. I'm really so. excited, because Henry Cavill goes above and beyond to try to be the character that he is. Um, so, and John Wick was awesome. So I think they're going to make some freaking magic together. Heck yeah. It's pretty excited.